one of the application of integration is area between two curve. So number one is when the area of region bounded by the curve y equal fx and y equal gx or the second type is when area of region bounded by the curve where x equal fy and x equal gy. So let's start with the first one. Let's say here we have two curve. The first curve is y equal fx and the second curve is y equal gx. So to find area of the shaded region r is equal to integration from a to b top minus bottom. So the top curve y equal fx minus the bottom curve bottom curve y equal gx. So substitute the top curve fx minus the bottom curve gx. So we get the cross section parallel to the y axis. Let's discuss one example. Okay, here is example 4. The region R is bounded by the curve y equal x square minus x minus 4 and the straight line y equal negative x as shown in figure, be figure below. So we want to find the area of shaded region R. The top curve is the straight line y equal negative x and the bottom curve is y equal x square minus x minus 4. Okay, to find the area first, write down the formula. A equal the integration from A to B fx which is the upper curve minus gx the lower curve so top minus bottom and then we will integrate from here to here so this is x equal a and x equal b since the equation did not give us the coordinate of these two intersection points, we can use simultaneous equation. So the first equation is from the straight line y equal negative x and the second is equation is from the curve y equal x square minus x minus 4. Okay, we use simultaneous equation. Bring negative x to the other side, we get x square minus 4 equal 0. We can factorize x square minus 4 into x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. So we get x equal negative 2 and x equal 2. So from the uh, figure, we can say that a is negative 2 and b here is 2. So let's substitute integration from x equal negative 2 until x equal 2. Okay, fx minus gx, the top curve. Okay, top curve with the straight line, which is negative x minus the bottom curve, x square minus x minus 4. So now we can solve the integration. First, Let's simplify the equation. We get negative x square plus 4. Since negative x and positive x will cancel each other. Integrate negative x square, we get negative x cubed over 3 
plus integrate 4 we get 4x. Okay, substitute 2 minus the substitution of negative 2. Substitute 2, we get 16 over 3. And when we substitute negative 2, we get negative 16 over 3. So, 16 over 3 minus negative 16 over 3. We get final answer, 32 over 3 unit square. Why unit square? Because this is the area. The second type of area is when the cross section is parallel to the x axis. So to find the area equal integration from C to D. Okay, right curve minus left curve. So from the figure we can see that this is C, the horizontal line until D. And then the right curve is when x equal fy minus the left curve when x equal to gy. So to find area, integration from C to D, fy minus gy dy. Let's discuss this example. Example 7, find the area of the region W bounded by x equal 4 plus 2y minus y square, which is this curve, y axis, and the line y equal negative 1 and y equal 3. So here is y equal negative 1, and this is y equal 3. So we want to find the area of this shaded region W. So we can see that in this example, the cross section is parallel to the x axis. So, right minus left. And we will integrate from here y equal negative 1 and Till here where y equal 3. Formula to find area when cross section parallel to the x axis. Integrate from y equal c to y equal d. And then fy minus gy dy where fy is the curve on the right minus dy curve on the left okay. we will integrate from here y equal negative 1 until here where y equal 3 substitute okay fy fy on the right so, x equal 4 plus 2y minus y square. Okay, minus on the left. On the left is the y axis. y axis where x equal 0. So, minus 0 dy. Integrate 4, we get 4y. Plus, integrate 2y, we get 2y square over 2. Simplify, so y square. Minus, integrate y square, y cube over 3. And then, substitute 3 minus the substitution of negative 1. Substitute 3, we get 12. And then minus substitute negative 1, we get negative 8 over 3. So final answer is 44 over 3 unit square. Consider the region R 
as shown in figure below, find the area of the region R bounded by y plus x squared equal 3 and line y equal x minus 3. So from the figure, we can see that we have one curve and then one straight line. We want to find the area of shaded region R. So from the figure, it is best if we use the cross-section parallel to the y-axis to find the area of the shaded region. We can integrate from here where x equal a until here where x equal b and then the top curve minus the bottom curve. Since we are not given the coordinates of A and B, we can use simultaneous equation because uh, these two coordinates are the intersection point of these two curves. So the first equation is Y plus X square equal 3, where Y equal 3 minus X square. And the second equation is y equal x minus 3. So 3 minus x square is equal to x minus 3. x square plus x minus 6. Factorize. we get x equal 2 and x equal negative 3. So from the figure, we can say that A is negative 3, so x equal negative 3 and B is 2, so x equal 2. So the formula to find area when cross-section parallel to the y-axis is A equal integration from x equal A to x equal b fx minus gx where fx is the top curve minus gx the bottom curve so integrate from negative 3 until 2 ok the upper curve y plus x square equal 3 or y equal 3 minus x square. K okay, minus gx, the straight line, y equal x minus 3. Okay, let's simplify. Integrate negative x square, we get negative x cubed over 3 minus integrate x, x square over 2, integrate 6, we get 6x. And then substitute 2 minus the substitution of negative 3. Okay, when we substitute 2, we get 22 over 3. Substitute negative 3, we get negative 27 over 2. And then final answer equal 1, 2, 5 over 6 units square. So this is the area of the shaded region R. Question number 7. Consider the diagram below. Find the area of the region W bounded by x equal y square minus 4y by integrating with respect to y. Okay, when we want to integrate with respect to y, we know that the cross-section the cross is parallel to the x-axis. So based on the figure, we will integrate from here where y equal a until here where y equal b. So function on the right minus function on the left. To find area for cross-section parallel to the x-axis, the formula is A equal 
integration from y equal c to y equal d f y minus g y d y where f y is the right uh, curve minus g y the left curve okay, here we know that y equal a is at x axis so at x axis y will equal to 0 so for the upper boundary y equal b since we are not given the coordinate we can use this equation to find the value of b given that x equal y square minus 4y so here uh, x is equal to 0 So when x equals 0, we get y equals 0 and y equals 4. So at this point, y equals 0 and at this point, y equals 4. So our integration is from y equals 0 to y equals 4. So on the right, we have y axis y axis where x equal 0 so 0 minus on the left here we have this curve where x equal y square minus 4y so 0 minus y square minus 4y Simplify negative y square plus 4y. Okay, let's integrate. Integrate negative y square, we get negative y cube over 3 plus integrate 4y, we get 4y square over 2 or 2y square. Then substitute 4 minus the substitution of 0 ok when we substitute 4 we get 32 over 3 and then substitute 0 we get 0 final answer is 32 over 3 unit square